Alrighty, so I'm getting ready to tear apart my LCD TV because uh, it does seem to turn on a little bit slow. I'm not sure if that's just because it's an older LCD TV. Maybe they just turn on slow, but anyway, I'm going to tear it apart again and check and make sure everything's okay. It still works fine, I just want to make sure. So I'll show you guys how to take it apart. As you can, as you can hear, I already have the base uh, loosened up. You get this uh, base off by taking out those four screws. So once you take out those four screws, just pull it off. It just pulls right off. No friggin' around or anything. But here's where it gets uh, tricky. When you try to separate the back from this front bezel. It's a little hard, but anyway. We'll get started. And uh, I think probably I'm just going to use a screwdriver because there's really not that many screws in this thing. So there's like, uh, let me see here, there's, oh there's no screw in that one, I must have forgot to put one in. So there's only four screws. four screws that hold the thing together on the outside and then there's all of these ones here so there's a bunch in here Alrighty, so now take out these I'm gonna skip all this because uh, you know taking out screws is pretty boring it's gonna take a while so I'll come back when the screws are all taken out alrighty so I have a couple of pry tools here this one is just a thing I bought um, at the drugstore. It's I uh, can't remember exactly what it's for. I think it's for cutting vegetables or for scraping stuff out of pots and pans or something. I can't remember. But anyway, it's nice and stiff and you can pry with it without scratching stuff up. And I have this uh, old Tim Hortons gift card and this I won't be prying with it's just gonna be like a place saver when I get this in and get it pried I'll just stick that in to to keep it pried out a little bit so I can go on to the next spot alrighty so what I'm doing is uh, starting at the top and if you put your pry tool or whatever right in there and just kind of work your way around. Be, be kind of careful. Don't, don't go like a maniac because you probably break clips and stuff. There we go. That whole side pretty much uh, came unclipped. So now here's where we use our Timmy Horton's card. Just stick it in there and release this other thing and that'll keep it pried out a little bit so you don't have to keep going over the same spot all the time. So it's fairly easy once you get it started. And now 
I'm going to set it back down. There we go. So now what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to take all of these screws out and just check it out, make sure everything's still okay. Last time I did this, I used a drill, but like I said, I'm gonna just use the just use a screwdriver this time because I'm not in a big hurry. I just want to get it checked out. So I'm gonna pause this again take out all those screws there's like probably a dozen of them so I'm not gonna not gonna put you guys through watching all that I'll just take them out I'll come back when it's done well I thought I'd come back a little early and show you something uh, that's kind of odd with this particular TV in order to get this shield off you have to take all of these screws out but there's also some screws in here that you wouldn't really think you'd have to take out, but you actually do. Okay, so uh, now I have the TV pretty much taken apart. And here on the power board, I'm not exactly sure why they have these plates on here but uh, they do so if you want to get at the capacitors or any of the other components you have to unscrew these screws and take these plates off of here and then it'll pretty much expose all of the guts and you can get at everything so I'm just gonna take a real quick look just to just to be curious because I didn't replace all the capacitors in this TV which I probably should have and like I said it's uh, it's a little slow it's a little slow turning on so I'm just curious if maybe there's a capacitor blown that I didn't change I don't see any but it was slow right from the first time that I uh, turned it on when I fixed it so that could just be the way it is I guess but I want to check it out anyway so I'll take these off since I have it all apart right now I do have a little bit of a problem with a line. It's like a dark, dark line on the screen, and it only appears when the TV gets warmed up. So when the screen starts getting quite hot, then I get that line on the screen. So I don't think there's really anything I can do about that right now but uh, but I just want to make sure everything's hooked up properly and there's nothing loose or any of that kind of thing and the board power supply board looks okay to me so I'm not going to bother doing anything to that today. But, like I said, I want to just make sure everything, because I did have all of these things unplugged. So I just want to make sure everything's plugged in and nothing came loose. I might take the rest of that off, take the boards off, and take this guard off of here. 
and just check out the, all the ribbon cables and make sure they're all seated properly because it's only in one spot it's on this side of the screen and there's a really faint line which I'm not worried about like it's really really faint you can barely see it that runs the full length of the top of the screen and then there's another one and both of these like I said they get darker and you can see them a lot worse when the TV warms up but the one that runs down this way only goes to about you know about that far down the screen and it's real it's really dark when the TV warms up so I just check make sure everything's cool so what I'm gonna do I've never had this apart before but by the looks of it there's these screws here and these screws here and I think that's probably about it besides a couple of screws here on the side alright so I get it all tore apart and now I have to carefully try to take this uh, metal adhesive tape off of here because I need to reuse it so it might be a little tricky because it's stuck on there pretty good but uh, I gotta try anyway I would just slice it but you kinda sorta should try to keep it if you can. I'm sure normally they just cut it and put a new piece on, but I don't have any of this stuff, so I have to try to save it. And if you're careful, you might split it a few times, but, but you should be able to save enough of it. And you can stick it back on. So anyway, I'm going to finish this up. And I'll come back when I'm done. Anyway, what I want to do is check out that TCON board. Because I'm thinking there's a possibility that that could be causing some of the problem with the picture or it could be something loose on this side so I'm gonna check out both of those and maybe and maybe the TCON board out of that other TV is the same even though the rest of the parts are are different the TCON board might be the same so I'm gonna check that out and I might try the other one in it just for the hell of it. So I was going to try this other TCON board. I dug it out of my thing of parts. And they look pretty much identical. It has all the same uh, hookups. Uh, everything's in the same spot. But that one number right there is different. This one has S62110, and this one has X S65250. So I'm not going to bother, even though it would probably work. I'm not going to bother because I just don't want to have to tear this all apart again, just to change the TCOM board again so I'm going to leave the original in there because more than likely it's okay if it ever conks out I'll take a chance and use that one so as you can see I have it pretty much all back together and all I got to do is put the back on it screw it down put the stand back on and it's ready to go so uh, that's pretty much it I'll talk to you guys later